All right, guys, I want to talk today a little bit about the concept of curating content. Um, and if you don't know what that means, I'm going to give an example. Uh, when I was a lot younger, I worked at a zoo. And in the zoo, there was a guy called the general curator. And his job was to take care of all these animals from all around the world that were in one place for you to go see. Um, the How this compares to the web is we have a, a website and we want to drive traffic to our website and have people from all over the web come view our website and the same way that if you came to the zoo and you wanted to see a tiger the curator wouldn't send you to India to see a tiger he's got the tiger there for you to see so why when people come to your Twitter page or your Facebook page do you give them a link and send them somewhere else to view other content that's not yours? Now, there are other, uh, there are a lot of reasons why you shouldn't do this. Uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of those in this video. I want to keep it short. But I'm going to show you ways that you can use your website as a hub to curate content. Um, so that if you're buying PPC ads to drive traffic to your website, you're buying Facebook ads, to drive traffic to your website or your Facebook page. Um, you don't want to drive traffic to those properties and then send them away to somewhere else. Um, now, you can send people away from your website, but you want to get them to your website first. Let me, uh, let me show you an example of what I mean. Jasmine Starr, who's a wedding photographer, has a very popular Facebook page. If you look here, at her post, uh, 50 people like this post, and uh, 298 people like this here, and 28 comments, and it's only 18 hours old. If we go down here to some of the older ones, she has 168 likes. Um, down here, 176. And a lot of these, um, but a lot of these have, have links that go to her page so here it says she was featured in rangefinder magazine so instead of sending you to a link for rangefinder Ma range magazine she has a link here that goes to her blog and you get this page here and it tells you and then there's a link down here to the article but she didn't send you directly to the article she sent you to her page first one of the ways that you can do this easily if you don't want to have to go through the trouble of creating a blog post every time is if i go over here to conversation agents and i'm reading this how to write a newsletter that will be read and i want to send that to my blog well i use a service called posturus and there's a little thing here that says share on posturus if i click on that it brings up a box and in that box is a is a picture from the, the article and it's got seven excerpts here that are found on the page so it's got images uh, and if you go down on some of these there's there's all this article text here from the article and then you can add a comment down to the bottom so um, found this great article on getting your newsletter read and then if you go down here to advanced options you've got um, here you can tag this and, and you can auto post everywhere and I've set this up ahead of time but if you go in the choose it's got all of these different um, sites that you can have posturous post to. So if I wanted to send this to my um, my personal web page here, I could do that. And then I could pick post. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna go post that on my blog. So if I go over here and I go to my blog, I don't have that one in here. So we go to Christopher and Johnston dot 
Um, and if we go over to my website, here we go, right at the top of the page is that article. So if I click on that, it brings it up and there's the entire article and then here's my comment down on the bottom so I could have tweeted out a link to this I could have put this on Facebook but instead what I did was I created this post and now I can share this post on Facebook or on Twitter or on Google Plus and people will come to my website to read that content and then maybe they'll click through now a lot of people have um, ethical considerations about that because you know well that somebody else created that content and now you're taking that content and sticking it on your website yes that is true so if you have a problem with that and you have an ethical consideration with that then maybe you don't want to do this but um, this is a way uh, I you shouldn't have all of your content be like this on your blog uh, you, you should be creating your own unique content but if you're going to be putting sometimes it's hard to create a lot of content and if you want to post regularly and you want to share things I think this is a better way to do it now I, I talked about posturous if you go to posturist.com and you um, you sign up for a an account, once you sign up for an account and you you set up all the settings, you're going to be taken to this page. You, you can go to this page, the Posturist bookmarklet, and if you grab that bookmarklet and drag it up here to your to your address bar, you're going to get this little bookmarklet that I already have here, and then it's simply a matter of clicking. And going through the options like I showed you and it will allow you to um, share content and allow you to share it on your website so you get the benefit of sharing that content rather than sending someone off to somewhere else um, please leave a comment tell me what you think about this uh, I already addressed the ethical considerations so don't you know spear me for for the ethical issues, but leave a comment and tell me what you think. Uh, tell me if you think this is a good idea, this is a bad idea, and if you're planning to use it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.